Okay, so now we've got it downloaded, I'm just going to open it here. And we'll just wait for this to load. We can just accept this privacy policy. And again, we are waiting for it to load. Once it's loading, what you can do is you can go ahead and log into your Discord account. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now we're logging in and it's going to show us um, the interface here. It's kind of similar to Discord. It's just a little bit more unorganized and there's ads everywhere. Uh, but what you can do here is you can search for channels or you've got your channels here on the left. So I'll just choose, I don't know, we'll just choose the video server. So I'll just click on that and then go to general. Or oh, actually, there's no messages in this one, so I'll, I'll use another one. So I'm in the YT server now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to general. For some reason, my uh, messages aren't showing, but what you would do is you would go delete recent messages first and click start. And you can see it's going to go through and it's going to delete all of your messages. It's deleted one and it found two. But if, if you have a lot of messages on a server, you should be able to see them. Again, I'll try it again in a different server. For some reason, again, the messages aren't showing, but we'll click start. And there you go, it's now deleting all of their messages. So now I've done that, I can now close it, and those messages should now be deleted. But that's how you can do it anyway, the app's not perfect, but it does work. If it helped you out, please do leave a like and comment down below.